a 3.8 Buick has this hole in the manifold, which stands for EGR, exhaust valve recirculation. Eventually, the hot gas burns a hole in the manifold, and when it reaches the water ports, coolant enters the intake manifold and hydraulics one or all pistons. At that point in time, it breaks the connecting rod and versus breaks the wall of the block. Wow. That looks like a big repair. Oh, it's an expensive fix. Yeah. It's an expensive fix. I might have to pound that up. There she blows. And thus, the broken piece. And you can see, because the bent angle in the rod. It's supposed to be straight? Oh, it's straight. Oh. So when it tries to compress that liquid in here, something's got to give. So then it breaks the rod. Oh. I'll hold that up. Okay. okay. This is the piston ring out of that Buick engine with 200,000 on it. Now, if you look at the ring, you can see the casting marks in it. The ring at 200,000 is not seated in yet at 200,000. See the little grooves in it? Uh-huh. It's only halfway seated in at 200,000. What does that tell me? That, that tells you it'll probably run another 200 on top of that. Wow. Yeah. Clean air, clean oil, any of them will run that distance easy. I don't care what flavor you got. <laughs> okay, so vehicles that are made now are made to last. They are. Longer than they used to be. Longer than they used to be. They're more oil tight than they used to be. It just keeps getting better every year. It really does. And how many hundreds of thousands of miles could you get out of a vehicle that's well taken care of? At least a half a million easy. Yeah. And that's not brand specific? Okay. Okay. And the fuel efficiency, does that also um, play into it. that? Goes with it. Okay. Yeah. Variable. Valve timing camshafts, more precise spark, uh, fuel delivery. It just keeps getting better, guys. 